Hey everybody, it's Jeff Duggins with H2 Designs. We are doing another project showcase here in Lexington, Kentucky. We're going to show you some pictures of this backyard, what we created. Obviously this walkway I'm standing on here did not exist. They had no way of getting to their backyard. So we came in and put a nice walkway in for them with the paver patio solution. Let's walk back here and see what's going on with these guys. If I can get the gate to open, we will. Come on in, guys. All right, this is just a wonderful, nice suburban backyard. Again, the walkway leading in to this wonderful area that this family enjoys this every weekend, obviously. Got a nice fountain here for some water sound. Of course, be, us being H2O Designs, we love the water sounds. The original patio they had when they built the house here was just a concrete slab. It went from post to post. This came, the covered area came built with the house, but it was kind of drab. No, um, just concrete, kind of like what builders do for houses. The steps, notice over here, were all concrete, no character at all. We came in, designed this area, overlaid the concrete, came out to this nice fire pit area. Notice the circle pattern around the fire pit. We do that a lot. Just kind of defines it. It's, a, it's an aesthetic thing, not functional at all. But it's just aesthetics to define the fire pit area. These chairs are just, I mean, wow. Comfortable, you can lay back, take a nap by the fire pit. Fire's going, it's actually cool out here today, so the fire's keeping us a little bit warm. This is a formal looking fire pit. I really like it in this atmosphere. Um, I'll be honest with you, when the customer first picked it out, I wasn't too sure about it, but it really, really sets off this area. So, show you a couple more things they've done just to make a homely type atmosphere. Again, this is an outdoor living area, so we're trying to bring the indoor living areas outside curtains you'll notice and you can hear the construction going on around us when this house is completed they're going to have windows staring right down on top of this family so they got curtains so they can have a little privacy Again, this bar area, we did a few things unique with this bar area. Number one, we raised it up so it's a bar height so that if there's a lot of people here, you can stand, put your arm on, have conversations. Also, nice bar house tools. One of the things we did as well is we left an open area underneath the bar. A couple of reasons for that. The customer didn't need any more storage. They had plenty of storage in the two side areas, so they saved a little bit of money by leaving that open. Also, when cleaning this bar area out, if this U-shape, if it was closed in, it would be really hard just to take a water hose and spray it out or blow leaves out of it, so it gives a good access for getting the leaves and stuff out. We'll walk around here and show you some of these amenities that are in the kitchen. This kitchen actually has about everything you would want in an outdoor kitchen. So we have a cooler area here. This is just a deep well cooler. Put ice in it, drinks, wine, whatever you want. Keep everything chilled. Nice sink area here. Um, rinse out your dishes. Obviously, you're not going to be washing dishes outside, but it just helps you rinse things out. You know, if you're mixing drinks, you can rinse the cup out and put mix a different drink or whatever. There's um, access storage under the sink. Over here in the cooking area, we have the single side burner for cooking sauces, soups, obviously the grill um, set beside it. And again, this has the full cooking grill master atmosphere. You have side burner, grill, and your green egg to smoke and cook pizzas and that type of stuff on. So everything you need to fix a wonderful meal for your guests. Um, three store drawers, um, three drawer storage, I can't talk obviously. Um, keeps all your utensils outside. That way you're not packing your spatulas and your tongs and everything that goes with your grill. You're keeping it all out here where it's nice and handy. One of the things I love about this kitchen is this stainless steel Kamado holder. 
This will hold big green eggs, primos, any type of Kamado that you want. But what I love about it is it has a drawer underneath where you can store your charcoal, again, all your cooking utensils for this. So everything's nice and handy and um, at, at your service right here so you're not running in and out of the house when you're cooking and entertaining guests. So. Hope you enjoyed this project showcase. We're going to hit you up with some more project showcases over the next few weeks. Um, if you want any part of this, if you obviously this is what we do. If you hit us up, let us know, and we'll be happy to um, create this wonderful backyard oasis in your own personal backyard. Till next time, have a great day and happy outdoor living. <laughs>